but if you want to see Facebook do better, a forced breakup looks like the trickiest remedy available. It would require a government agency to break with decades of precedent, it would leave Facebook itself as big as ever and it wouldn't fix other problems with concentrated market power online. Vaidyanathan added that he's professionally bound to remain among those billions, I have to be on Facebook because I write about Facebook. As for making life harder for disinformation campaigns, a security expert doubted that a Facebook Instagram divorce would help. This wasn't just accounts on Facebook and INSTagram, it was on other social media platforms as well, said Lee Foster, manager for information operations analysis at FireEye. FEYE, which recently identified 652 accounts, pages, and groups tied to Iranian and Russian influence campaigns. When pressed on that point, Open Markets Institute fellow Matthew Stoller relented, maybe Messenger shouldn't be spun off. There's also scant history of the FTC punishing a company for privacy failures by breaking it up as Stoller observed, I'm not sure if the FTC has done this before. However renewed that agency may be with a full slate of commissioners after years of vacancies at the top, asking it to create a new punishment precedent may be too much even if President Trump just called it very dangerous for Facebook to not give enough publicity to his supporters. Jason Kint, CEO of the online publishing group Digital Content Next, wants to watch the effectiveness of the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation and its permission-oriented regime for personal data. We need to let that enforcement play out, he said. I think if it does start to curb them, then it increases the pressure for the US to actually step up to the plate. Facebook alone, with 2.2 billion users, still has significant scale so I don't see it hurting too much, Global Data's Luna said. New privacy rules would address that still gigantic company and the rest of the online advertising industry, but what should they look like? Importing the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, Europe's new data privacy rules, is one option that even some Republicans now back. That's also one of the 20 policy suggestions Senator Mark Warner included in a document released August 1. But that 23-page essay also notes concerns about the GDPR going too far. Omis Miller and Stoller, meanwhile, fear the GDPR's complex rules may privilege incumbents over startups lacking legal expertise. Warner's proposals also suggest such lesser steps as directing the FTC to write privacy rules, requiring that companies provide more transparency about their collection and use of personal data and mandating that large tech firms provide standard ways for smaller rivals to connect to their services. That would be a major advance beyond Facebook's current option to download your data and even its support of the Data Transfer Project, an initiative with Google, Goog, GOOGL, Microsoft, MSFT, and Twitter, TWTR, to let customers send their information directly to competing services. The Warner report also notes that it could open security vulnerabilities, see, for instance, the openings exploited by Cambridge Analytica and Russian propagandists. But for any of these ideas to get anywhere, Congress needs to act on privacy instead of writhing in ineffectuality. Until that changes, the gripes about Facebook will continue. Facebook's had problems with privacy since they started, said Omis Stoller. It's not like this stuff is new. More from Rob, email rob at rob at, follow him on Twitter at at Rob Guerrero.